Hi, I'm Judith Heller, and I'm proud to oversee physician recruitment at the Northwell Health System. I'm pleased to partner with our clinical leaders. Now I'd like to share with you their vision for growth. Welcome to Staten Island University Hospital. We're going to show you this isn't just a great place to be a patient, but also a wonderful place to have a fulfilling medical career. Staten Island Hospital began as an infirmary 150 years ago. This place has been treating people since the Civil War. We've been on Staten Island since that time, taking care of people through many stages of our country's history, as well as many stages of their own lives. 1979, we came to this campus, and the transformation to what you see now at Tertiary Care Medical Center has progressed since that time. And really, over the last two decades, we've added on service after service, expanded our teaching programs to what you actually see now. Emergency medical services at Staten Island University Hospital are really unique. We have two separate campuses, but consider ourselves one department. And that allows us to take care of patients with any condition by utilizing the resources at both campuses. Up at the north site, emergency services are surrounded by this tertiary care facility that has such a robust educational service surrounding it related to all types of care. We deliver through the emergency department 24-7 care for any problem you can imagine. We have a tremendous relationship with our community, and it gives you a level of personalization that you're just not gonna see in a lot of places. You know, you will absolutely treat your neighbors here. Over the last several years, Staten Island University Hospital has added multiple services to really make sure that people on Staten Island can stay on Staten Island. Really, since the advent of the Heart Tower in the early 2000s, and then the addition of multiple educational programs and multiple medical specialties, and really the full gamut of services, the number of things that you'd actually have to leave Staten Island for is essentially very quickly going to zero. We have grown services. The team in cardiac surgery has achieved the highest quality ratings, and we do see our out-migration numbers declining day after day. We put programs in place to support the need for this community. We have a burn center at this campus, and we continue to grow our neurology, neurosurgery, and orthopedic services. There is an incredible amount of things here just with what we're adding to Staten Island over the next couple of years. A mother baby building is going up, a cancer center is going up. It brings a different sense to a hospital when you're taking care of your own community and your own family members. And that's the feeling we have here. I think the thing that I'm most proud of at Staten Island University Hospital is our sense of team. It's our ability to come together and to do what needs to be done to take care of people regardless of what we're dealt and what the circumstances were. Every project starts with a plan which lists who needs to be involved to make this happen. For instance, we have a telemetry program now, and that's a project between cardiology and the Department of Internal Medicine. The neuro-interventional program is a tremendous collaboration between neurology, neurosurgery, radiology, and anesthesiology. Everybody sees the goal, gets together, and we get it accomplished. It's a big part of where we're going in terms of a teamwork environment, and it will continue to lead us towards some of the excellence that we're actually seeing, whether it be top 100 hospital for cardiac intervention, whether it be STS three-star rating for now three years in a row. We're gonna to continue to push some of these key and critical programs into that realm, and we will start to see the results that we're already seeing in the cardiology and cardiothoracic surgery realm. We have true healthcare heroes here, and we have a true management team that when push comes to shove, when the chips are down, we figure out a way to get it done. So we're actually entering into the emergency department. We built this uh, in 07 into 08. And what you're in here now is the uh, trauma and critical care section of the emergency department. And they really took my input and helped me uh, help them design this building in a way that actually totally made sense. And we built some really amazing things into this building because we listened to each other and I got to work with architects and I got to do things I never thought I'd be able to do as a new physician. We've invested very heavily in trying to make sure that we communicate with our docs, communicate with our staff, and we, you will get a lot of information here. You will be involved in a lot of the decisions that actually occur day to day, and you will hear a lot from your direct reports. And I think it's one of the things, the culture that we're building here, is that your voice will be heard and you will also know how we're thinking. 
We're walking into one of the trauma bays, and this is really kind of a perfect example of how you can really collaborate between a clinical person, an administrative person, uh, and some architects. And when we designed this room, we were really kind of focused on being uh, physician-centric, um, and we put in things like collapsible walls, uh, extra setups across the back so that we could actually deal with up to seven people across this space in case of an emergency, uh, and small touches that really kind of make this an ideal place to take care of the sickest possible patients. We're part of this large healthcare community that offers tremendous stability. The ability to have a long-term career here and never go anywhere else, and the knowledge that you're going to be taken care of. We're growing at an incredible rate. We're adding resources. We have a tremendous number of new providers coming into this community and delivering amazing care. You get to build something together, and you have an opportunity to be a part of a wave that is really going to continue to revolutionize healthcare on Staten Island. We try at both leadership levels and medical levels to consider just about any idea or request to build a program as long as the doctors are committed to quality and betterment of our community. You truly can build something special here. We will invest in you the same way that I was invested in all those years ago. We're in the process of building a neurointensive care unit. Virtually every case has an attempt at a non-invasive approach if it's even possible. We have a bariatric center of excellence, and again, almost all our bariatric surgery is done non-invasively, a lot of it robotically. We have invested heavily in laparoscopic surgery, robotic surgery, and we invested in another Da Vinci robot, uh, ERAS programs, and we have a greater number of our patients leaving the hospital the same day, and that's all because of the minimally invasive approach. The Similab at Staten Island University Hospital is really tremendous. It is a state-of-the-art facility. Our Patient Safety Institute does work for all divisions in the building and loves to educate us outside of the Similab as well, where they will take the mannequins down to a clinical space and run a drill with them. Since having our own Simlab here in the last several years, we really have seen a different caliber of training on site, in the lab, and on the floors. And of course, what's on everyone's mind, COVID and the flu. These are things we're well prepared for. We have created plans and tracks to safely navigate patients through these areas. And that safety is not just for our patients, but for our staff. So when someone comes to look in our department to work in any discipline, you'll see that those places of safety are in place all of the time for everyone who walks through our doors. We started preparing for the COVID pandemic very quickly as it started hitting the New York area. We were able to add 200% capacity to our critical care beds at this campus, as well as the South Campus. We were never at a point where we were missing a ventilator, missing a mask, and that was the power of Northwell. We took care of our staff. We made sure they were okay. We made sure they had what they needed. Everybody just chipped in, knew what they were in for, and I think that's because of the commitment they have to this community and to their profession. We've put a lot of time and energy into being one of the preeminent heart hospitals in New York City. It's kind of the fulcrum for what we're putting into cardiology so that we could be the heart hospital for this borough and for the ex an extension beyond this borough. We have a state-of-the-art discovery cath lab, which is one of few around the country. We are able to perform a slew of services from catheterizations, ablations, mitral clips, and we're actually adding a third cath lab to the organization this year. So we're entering into the cath lab post-procedural area. I wanted you to see this because we've really invested a lot of money in actually continuing to grow in this area. We actually added a discovery unit about two years ago. Discovery unit allows us to do uh, TAVRs uh, as well as other cases and really do some of the most complex uh, uh, cases that we can do in the heart. Same thing in brain, neurointervention, full service stroke, being able to get a full service neurological evaluation regardless of how minor or how critical it actually is. We also are very proud of our joint replacement program. We perform over 600 joint replacement surgeries a year. The opportunities to expand as an educator have really been realized through Hofstra. Having the medical school there, having programs for nursing education, physician education, has allowed us to open our scope of what we were able to do through Northwell. 
Stanley University Hospital has invested tremendously in its teaching programs. We, over the last 10 to 15 years, have added multiple medical specialties. We have 14 departments in the hospital. Nine of them have full established residency programs. Two are on their way, and the other ones have plans down the line to develop residency programs. So every department will have a residency program, and within those, we have fellowship programs. We're gonna be looking to kind of open that next envelope so this truly becomes a teaching hospital where we can really train the best and the brightest to be our next generation of physicians. Everything we do is an attempt to create an interdisciplinary approach and a collegial approach and get as many people as necessary involved in building the programs here. We really focus on having our residents know each other. They have committees together. And it's not just the educational programming, but the teamwork and professionalism that they get to develop as one. Here at Staten Island University Hospital, we have an executive team who's really trying to make transformation amongst culture, and in there is diversity and inclusion. We have rising populations of multiple different ethnicities. Are we representing them well? We need to be able to understand our patients to deliver the care best for them. This isn't a factory. We're looking to build programs around special people that want to be leaders in their community and do amazing things. There is virtually unlimited growth potential here. As the programs grow, and if they're successful, we'll bring in more people and we'll grow the program. There's a commitment to bring us to the highest level of quality and sophistication of any hospital in the country. We really have the opportunity to build a legacy and to leave something special that will serve Staten Island for as long as it's here. Thanks for watching our video. I hope we showed you why this is such a wonderful place to have a medical career and I hope I have the opportunity of working with you.